Today, we are going to learn some tips when flying with kids. Traveling with a toddler is no vacation if you're not properly prepared. Here are 14 considerations for you to consider. Let's begin. Number 1. Book an early morning departure. It's your greatest chance to avoid delays at takeoff and landing. These flights are normally less busy and everyone is basically exhausted and simply wants to nap, kids especially. Avoid flights with extended layovers or late-night connections, if at all possible. Number 2. Save your mileage upgrades for toddler-free travel. Traveling first class with children might be far more difficult than it is worthwhile. First class passengers won't be as empathy and supportive as per the economy passengers. They have paid to enjoy peace and service, not noise from boisterous kids. Number 3. Dress in layers and skip shoes with laces. Prepare for rapid temperature changes when flying with a child. Dress your children in layers that are easy to put on and take off, preferably without buttons, zippers, or anything else that might prevent them from using the restroom on time. The same rule applies to shoes, avoid laces, and opt for slip-ons. There's also the added benefit of getting through airport security faster. Number 4. Bring surprises. When flying with a toddler, a wrapped new toy has two advantages, kids enjoy unwrapping things, and a new gift is more attention-grabbing. Number 5. Consider using a smaller stroller. For some parents, getting through an airport without a stroller is unfathomable, so consider using an umbrella stroller instead of a traditional stroller. Also, check your stroller at the gate before boarding, the crew will have it waiting for you when you exit the plane. Number 6. Pack just enough. Parents are advised to bring adequate essentials for the travel, recommended by flight attendants. As there will be no food or items aboard aircraft, that will appeal to a child. Parents, on the other hand, will struggle if they overpack enthusiastically to keep their children happy, not knowing that they had to bring all their belonging off the plane. Number 7. Plan your packing list. Comfort item, if it's a pacifier, be sure to bring more than one, lest it get flung down the aisle or on the floor. Sanitizer, wipes, pull-ups, and diapers. One diaper per hour of travel is recommended. Smartphones and tablets, loaded with your kids' favorite movies or shows. Let them share a device with a headphone splitter and kid-size headphones. Art supplies, crayons in small box and blank paper. Reusable or plastic bags for trash. Bottle of water when your kids are thirsty. Low sugar snacks, Cheerios, pretzels, crackers, nuts, string cheese, and granola bars are good options. Number 8. Get ready for security. When packing, make sure that any items that need to be removed for security reasons are easily accessible. Remember that bringing snacks will subject you to additional scrutiny during the screening process. Number 9. Prepare for air pressure. Consult your doctor before flying if your child has recently had an ear infection or a cold. Changes in cabin air pressure can be uncomfortable. Also, after clearing security, stock up on enough water for everyone to get through any potential delays and still have enough for the descent, which is when your pressure discomfort is most common. Allow your kids to drink some immediately after takeoff and for the final 30 to 45 minutes of the descent. The pressure is relieved by swallowing, which also hydrates the body. Number 10. By all means, use pull-ups. Even if your child has outgrown them, pull-ups are an excellent resource when flying with a toddler or small child. It's worth noting that it's far less stressful than having to rush to the restroom or dealing with an in-seat accident. Number 11. Show some appreciation. Flight attendants enjoy receiving a certain gratuity for dealing with toddlers. Any type of chocolate found in an airport and distributed at boarding time works wonders. Of course, the random irritable, unprofessional cabin crew member will be unaffected. However, it is a considerate gesture 
especially when flying during the holidays, when the majority of flight attendants will be working and away from their families. They may remember you and keep an eye out for you at times. Not only that, but you'll almost certainly receive a free drink as well. Number 12. Seat kids away from the aisle. Aisle seats may be dangerous for toddlers. As the food and beverage cart passes, little hands are in danger of coming into contact with hot coffee or water. Number 13. Beware of germs. When traveling with a toddler, wipe off everything and don't send your kids to the restroom without shoes. The floor is a petri dish. While you're in the air, things wobble, and that isn't simply water on the restroom floor. Number 14. Keep your composure. You can't do much to please the passenger who complains whenever your child sneezes or giggles. Here are some things to bear in mind. As long as you're trying, you've got almost everyone on your side. When an adult has a problem with a screaming child, he or she is behaving like a child. Refrain from becoming enraged. You should be concerned primarily with your own child. Be prepared. Remember, flying isn't always a pleasurable experience, with cramped airplane seats and congested waiting areas, and the annoyance is amplified when you add a boisterous kid to the mix. Small children's patience is utterly exhausted by airport security. They despise extended periods of inactivity and are scared of unexpected changes in air pressure. Fortunately, with proper planning and preparation, you can have a stress-free travel day. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click the thumb up and subscribe and comment below.